to change your language. Okay. You know, by you coming in. Change my language. Change your language. Yeah, we have to change your language. But well, she's trying to change my language. Already, I asked y'all to let me in here at 9 o'clock. Here's the 9 30. I'm just standing out here in this cold. I mean, so everything's looking great at the shop, except this one thing. When we get through, wait till I look at that sink over there. You ain't seen all the sinks. I'm talking about silly putty, and then over there I got stuff hanging off the side of the wall. They say, baby, you tried to kill me, but guess what? That's all right. <laughs> you tried to take food out of my family's mouth, but guess what? That's all right. Let me see if they're ready over here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When God do something new in your life, you will start calling some of them the same enemies. They say, you know what? Everything you did to me, I forgive you. That's the boo on the mind. Wake up with me, go to church with me. I wanna get my praise on with the It goes down in my town, in my church, and please believe my pastor. Ain't nothing like a God fearing man with a plan and the Bible. But don't get it twisted, just because he blessed doesn't mean he don't get stressed. Come take a look into the side that my pastor don't show you on a Sunday. Hey, hey, follow me. Church. From uptown to downtown, Stephen Brown, the real side. I'm Karen Parker, the producer of the Noops, whatever. The producer of the soon to be hit reality TV series, The Real Side. And I'm CJ Sagadia, I'm the chief videographer for The Real Side. Right now, we're going to introduce to you the cast members, starring Stephen Brown. Now, Stephen Brown, he. About him. I'd say he's a very eccentric, fashionable. Um, he actually really is very well dressed. Very well dressed individual. I mean, I gotta give him that. He has, okay. some, he has a swag that's just, you know. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not like, you know, like trying to be okay. all up in his room so, like that. Like, I'm just did, saying. Did he pay you to say that? <laughs> anyway, then we have Baby Huey, aka David Foster. Now, David Foster, he has the best, the greatest intentions. And he's always called upon uh, at last minute, and he's always on the go. So, uh, Stephanie, what about Stephanie? Uh, Stephanie, I'd say that she is a uh, go-getter, to, to say the least. She has her own salon. Um, she's always on the move, but she is a firecracker. I mean, you never really know what she's going to do next. I promise you, she's all over the place. Exactly. She can be irate at any given moment. Doesn't and, take much. And then we have someone that's the complete opposite of the show. Who's that? What, Marquez? Marquez, oh. yeah, Marquez. Always out of pocket. Marquez, he's obnoxious. Annoying. Over the top. Full of himself. Thinks he knows it all. And really doesn't know many things at all. Let me add sarcastic. <laughs> but somehow he found his way in and he is here. And, and he, he does add a new kind of flavor to the show for sure. That he does. Yeah, flavor. I'm Stephen Brown. I pass the Light of Glory International Church, AKA Lodge, the church where it just makes sense. It's located downtown Memphis. Uh, this is the real side. Now, Mama Washington is the caretaker of Logic, you know, where it just makes sense. But if you're late to letting her in, then that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. You know that, that silly um, stuff that uh, the egg. Silly uh, putty? Silly putty, oh. yeah. Okay, now does that go with the, in a salon? A salon, Stephanie Brown, and silly putty? Negative. That looks like okay. silly putty. Let me ask you this. You like being uplifted or restored? Upliftedly restored. So I just got invited to speak at a school I used to work at, man. The first thing that crossed my mind was, really? They want me to speak at the school? Uh, by me being a pastor and a preacher, you know, it's not an odd thing, but I didn't quite know how to respond when they first called me. So, of course, my parents and the congregation and people I work, you know, work around every day to the pastor, you got to do it. So uh, we went to give back to the kids, man. We went to speak a word of encouragement at Honors Day programs. And I'm telling you, it was off the chat. We 
got there, man, it was just, uh, it was awesome, man. We spoke right into the kids' lives, trying to encourage them to keep on keeping on. A lot of kids made the honor roll. They made principles list, straight A's, straight E's. And so we wanted to just talk about the faith of fighting the finish. It was cool, man. The kids really enjoyed it. And uh, we just had an awesome time. If I was ever asked to do this again, of course I'd do it, man. Uh, middle school level, elementary level, high school level, you know, it's, it's all the same thing. I just wanted to give back and just talk into the kids' lives. And so I'm up for the challenge, man. Anytime they call me, I'm there. Make no sense. What's up, Reverend? What's going on? Uh, Mama Washington can't clean the church tomorrow. She got she need to clean it today. So she did tell me last night, but I forgot to tell you. I, you know, I had to go to school, so I wouldn't be able to stop out there and like, so she had just been there and I need to go open the church for her so she tripping on me. Up, uh, she gotta get in there right now, though. Right, right now, she out there standing. I mean, what you gotta do? What, I mean, what's up? Uh, I'm about to hop right quick. Alright, she waiting on you, though, dog. You gotta get up. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in there. Alright, man, I appreciate you, man. Uh, I'll tell you something, Reverend. Don't, don't, don't hold it this morning, but I appreciate it. Alright, okay, appreciate it. I had to tell Foster, look, I'm always telling Foster to do something off the fly, I mean, off the jump. He's my right hand man. I called him up real quick. I said, hey, man, I need you to run over there. Let Mama watch the end of church so she can clean up. I couldn't get there. Boy, was she upset. All right, so, you know, I'm rushing. I'm dropping everything, uh, you know, trying not to break any speed limits. And I have to get to the church immediately. Not sure what to expect. My mama watch has been waiting what I've been told for a while now. So I'm not sure what type of attitude she's gonna have when I get there. Don't make no sense. Every time I come here, I can't get in. Where is it? Hey, calm down. Just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense. See, here it is already. I asked y'all to let me in here at nine o'clock. Here it is, nine thirty. I'm just standing out here in this cold and waiting on y'all to let me in when all y'all gotta do it give me a key. It just don't make no sense. It be cold standing out here. I gotta catch the bus and wait on y'all. It, re it really don't make no I sense. I'm gonna get these. Uh, so I'm the one have to do all keys this here. here. Really don't make no sense here. I asked half a thousand for a key. I mean, it's like one day you come Friday, one day you come Saturday. If I got a key, it wouldn't. Y'all have to worry about what time I come that way. Cause it don't make no sense. Well. The fact that, you know, that I'm into beauty and every yeah, day that I walk out got. the door, uh -huh. you know, and I have to represent my industry well, so I have to come out the door Hello, with lashes yeah, and everything. Yeah. So you got blue, green, mm -hmm. and purple? Blue, green, and purple, baby. Okay. My eyes gonna make everything pop. When my sister first came to me about her idea, I mean, it was years ago. I mean, what you're getting ready to see uh, is years of her believing God for her vision to come to pass. Uh, I was feeling it from day one. Now, I didn't quite know how she was going to get it done because it was such a big vision. And so that's how we knew it was from God. It was going to take a miracle. Yes, I have to walk out the door and I have to look like I own okay. this industry. Okay. All the way down to my Gucci boots. But, uh... As she started planning things out, writing stuff down, making it plain, man, things began to happen. And so when I first heard the concept, it's not a beauty shop. All right, you understand? It's really not a beauty shop. It's a day spa and a salon. She actually created a new word called spa lawn. It's actually going to be in your dictionary, so she'll get the credit for that. And uh, when I first heard the concept, man, I was with it. I'm ready to do what I got to do. I want to put money in it. Uh, I want to help her because she's the first of her kind. She's going to be downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Nothing ever seen like it um, on the Bill Street District. I mean, she has this global vision. She has this uh, multicultural vision. I mean, she does, uh, she just don't do black hair. You know what I'm saying? She does everything, white folk, Chinese folk, my Latino brothers and sisters. I mean, she's into the makeup thing, the full body massages. I mean, if you want that experience, KK Spa Lawns is the place to go. They come to get their hair done though, they're not coming to but fashion. You have to think about it. 
they have to be able to say, if my stylist look like that and I'm paying her the kind of money that I'm paying her, that means that she's all about the whole package being put together. So they don't mind coming to the door spending the kind of money that they're going to spend because it's all about the total package. Well, this is what we're going to change your language. Hold on. You know, by you coming Hold on. in. Change my language. Change your language. Yeah, we have to change your language. But she's trying to change my language. You know, I'm used to using grease in my hair. See, I got waves. You know, I use grease. Straight grease. She told me it's called pomade or something. And she told me if I was going to be involved in her business, I was going to have to change my language or my lingo. Because Aveda and KK's follow ons we're a dining experience. We're not a drive through baby. Yeah, we're luxury. Okay. You know how you have to make an appointment at the Bentley place? Yeah, we're luxury. Dining in is an experience. Going through the drive through you just quick, hey, get me up out of here. I'm gonna pay two, three dollars and that's it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We're gonna give you a pomade and it's something that's gonna enhance the wave texture that you have. Pomade. Yes, you need, you, you're gonna order the pizza. I gotta order pizza, babe. What do you need? I was gonna take some pictures. Okay, we'll get pi okay. Take pictures from your phone. Okay. Make sure that you uh, do the crop and send them in the right angle, okay. and then I upload them to Twitter. Okay. You know, right now we got a uh, we got this thing going on. I mean, people we get okay, picking up like, new got followers. Twitter page. Yeah, we got Twitter page. We get new followers. I mean, we're really really we got to keep a high presence on Twitter. Of course. Yeah. So. But I went down there to just walk around and see. Um, the behind the scenes right before she opens up footage, you know, I uh, just want to kind of get a feel before everybody else get a feel. And so she actually had some of her reps there, well, not her reps, but some of her team there. And uh, they actually gave me a treatment on the spot. When people go to a spa, people are so conscious, oh, let me hear up and get them out of here. But here at KK's Falls, we're so about the moment. Okay. That means that it's all about our guest. So that's why I'm looking you in your eye because it's all about Stephen Brown right Okay, now. you're at a spa experience right now. Okay. Do you want to be restored or uplifted right now? I want to be uplifted. <laughs> uplifted? <laughs> <laughs> because he hey. played football and he wanted more out. Y'all ain't getting me high as you. Oh my God. <laughs> this man just asked if we get him high. And this is a healing place. <laughs> now this is your gallbladder. It's my neck. No. <laughs> The points that she's massaging is going to help your gallbladder. And so really what she has to do is go right up under your occipital bone. You know that thing you got called Iggy? <laughs> your occipital bone. And so with counterclockwise and clockwise rotations, massage manipulations, what she's doing is she's helping you come to a state to where the body is speaking to the gallbladder right now. And then she moves to the B10 section or the G20, which is the sinus, it's those grooves. She finds those grooves which are just there in the skull and those are your manipulation points. Gave me a treatment on the spot. The treatment made me feel just, I mean, took me on a journey, all right? She gave me something called the five sensory something, but you have to go to figure out what I'm saying, but it was amazing. They made me inhale two or three different kind of products and uh, they massaged my neck, something that reached my gallbladder. Uh, before you know it, my head was laid back on the wall, man, and I was just, you know, in, I don't want to say la-la land, I guess I was in spa-spa land. Beauty on Beale. Kingdom Creations is leading the way for what's to come. Owned by Stephanie Brown. Kingdom Creations, an exclusive day spa and salon located at 203 Bill Street, Suite 201, right above Alfred's. Call 901-590-2136. Went to a photo shoot with my young people and uh, rehearsals. I always stop by every Wednesday when they rehearse. And I just like to, you know, just drop in and let them know that Pastor is not this guy who is untouchable. 
outside of Sunday. You know, we there on Tuesday nights and Wednesday night we do all the rehearsals. So I stop by every Wednesday night, I'm there. I just want to shake hands, hug the people, love on our young people, and just let them know that, hey, if you're going to sacrifice to be here, I'm going to sacrifice to be here too. <laughs> young men, we have a slew of young ladies who just love what they do. Uh, they love what they're doing, they love Jesus, they love uh, the ministry, uh, they love reaching out to people, they love loving each other, they love growing in Christ together. It's just an amazing experience at Light of Glory with all of the young people. I mean, we have an amalgam of young people who have different creative abilities. It's just an amazing sight to see when we get all of our young people together. And that's why I stop by on Wednesday night, because I like to see them interact and just have fun and laugh and just have a good time. get through the doors, what do I see waiting on me? This big old, I'm talking lump of putty or something. Do Look. you know I paid $900 for my sinks? $900. That's real hard money to come back in today's economy. Stephen Brown's the real side. Stephen Brown, the real side. I mean, so everything's looking great at the shop, except this one thing. Yes, I am. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you nice doing? Nice to see you again. Max, Max. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing, Ms. Ralph? Good to see you, man. You guys uh, wanted to see me about something? Yeah, I need to let you see this silly putty Mr. Potato Head stuff that's on my face. Okay, so AJ calls, and he tells me that the sinks have arrived. And I'm like, okay, as soon as the plumbers get the sink installed, call me and I'm going to come down. AJ calls me back and he tells me, boss lady, the sinks are installed. So I'm like, okay, here I come. Nice. $900 a piece. And lo and behold, as soon as I get through the doors, what do I see waiting on me? This 
big old, I'm talking a lump of putty or something that Max put on the sink drain or whatever. I don't know what he was thinking, but Stephanie is irate. And when my sister gets irate, she gets irate. Don't know what was the problem? See, right there, you see it right over there? That looks like silly putty, Mr. Potato Head, the stuff my kids play with, Ooh. the stuff I don't want in my carpet at Christmas time. Oh. What? Um, no. A woman, let, let, me, let me just put it like this. I know how to do my work, okay? I don't tell you how to do your job. This right here will be taken care of. I'm gonna have it laminated. I'm gonna put, I mean, I'm gonna put laminated. the Laminated? That I'm, looks no, like I'm, laminated no. wall putty I will, stuff. I will have it taken care of. This is just temporary right here. So, I mean, it's not even a problem. Temporary. Okay. It's just temporary. Temporary. Right can you remove the it out the wall the right now? Why would I want to move it out the wall right now? It's not temporary then. That means that that is permanent. That is fixed in place. I always try to talk sense into her. I try to calm her down because if she's acting out on the fly, somebody can be in trouble. Do you know I paid $900 for my sinks? $900. That's real hard money to come back in today's economy. $900. No, $900, dude. This three sinks at $900. When we get through, wait till I look at that sink over there. You ain't seen all the sinks. I'm talking about silly putty. And then over there, I got stuff hanging off the side of the wall. Okay. Someone's going to walk in and they're going to see this awful glump on the back of the sink. And I know you're thinking, who's gonna look at the back of the sink? I look at the back of the sink. If I got to come somewhere and pay, what, $40, $50 for a shampoo? Definitely, I'm looking at the back of the sink. I wanna make sure that it's not toe up from the flow up, okay? He get Max, you know Max does good work. He ain't do your church like that. But you know, I'm having a moment and I'm telling myself, as a Christian, I'm not supposed to let this stuff get you know, to me, and I'm not supposed to let, uh, uh, it's too much. It's too much conversation, too much dialogue. What else, what Is there anything else you'd like to get off your chest so I can... Get it's, off it's my chest? Way. Are you seriously saying this to me? Look, th this right here is not a, a, a problem. It's not okay, a okay. problem. I'll be able All to right. take care of it. Okay, I'm going to be the good Christian. Sir, how can you get this taken care of? I'll take care of it today. Okay. No problem. And it's not going to cost me anything, right? Just my time. But no, 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 for you, I do it for free. Just for that right there. I know you yeah, will yeah. do it no for problem. free. No and I'm throwing that one in. No problem. No yeah. Problem. <laughs> I can't believe this. Dude. No, dude. Hey, to view past episodes, cast member profiles, and to share your show comments, man, go to therealside.net right now and let us know what you think. Hey, uh, be sure to follow your favorite person on Twitter. If you're looking for Pastor Stephen Brown, he's at Stephen Brown L. Uh, if you're looking for the magnificent Stephanie Brown, she's at KK's Blondes. And if you're looking for the ever-changing Marquez, he's at Officially Quez. And then, of course, uh, David Foster. He's at D A V F B O S. Man, I mean, pulling off a weekend service is uh, it's not as easy as people think. I mean, we've been rehearsing all week. I've been with my team all week. We've been talking about how Sunday is going to go. Man, we got Pack the Pew coming up. Yeah. Uh, fifth Sunday. Actually, every fifth Sunday, man, it's called Pack the Pew Sunday. So everything has to be on point from the parking lot. To the dismissal, nothing can go wrong. I feel like preaching, y'all. I feel God to bless somebody today. God is a good God and He's worth Let's go preach. Cast out some devils.
any given weekend, man, I can have 500 people there uh, throughout the week. Um, sometimes even a thousand come through our church. So it's a lot of pressure on me. And I really don't know what to expect each and every time I hit the platform. And God is calling you to be, always be the bigger person. Some of y'all walk around your house, walk around your job. Well, I always got to be the bigger person. Well, I, gotta, I always got to be big. Why well, I always got to show the maturity because you got God. And you got to understand you're not always wrestling with flesh because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But spiritual weakness in high, in high places. Devil could use anybody. Folk on your job, folk on your family. It's really not them. It's that spirit behind them. Shout glory to God. And you got to have enough discernment to say, Mama, I still love you, but you're full of the devil right now. I, I, I ain't going to even tell you that to your face. I'm just going to go in my prayer closet and cast this devil out of everybody on my job. They don't even know they're being used by the devil. You can't fight flesh against spirit. Got to take that thing into prayer. Stop trying to fight. Some of y'all fighting on Facebook. You're fighting on Twitter. You're fighting on text message. You're fighting an email. Stop fighting. Learn how to fight on your knees. Slap your name and say, get some neology. Uh, when you're really going to your next level, the same folk you was ready to kill, you will mess around and start loving them and forgiving them. They say, baby, you tried to kill me, but guess what? That's all right. You tried to take food out of my family's mouth, but guess what? That's all right. Let me see if they're ready over here. Yeah. yeah, when God do something new in your life, you will start calling some of them the same enemies. They say, you know what? Everything you did to me, I forgive you. If a lie you told on me, I forgive you. Sermon went pretty well. Altar call was packed after church. I mean, people were just at the altar, uh, lifting their hands, just reconnecting with the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, at the end of the day, um, that's what it's all about for me to put people in contact with Jesus Christ. Take a look into the side that my pastor don't show you on a Sunday. Hey, hey, follow me. Follow me. It's the real deal over here. Come and join the ride. Cause it goes down in my church. From uptown to downtown, Stephen Brown, the real side. All hell breaks loose, and of course, Michael Marquez Curtis wants to be in La La Land again. So you could have did it better? No. Could you did it better? I I'm the singer of the house. We're going to hell, son. Look, I'm going to need a pastor when I get down there. Hey, we can invite I know, right? Ryan, I know, and it's only $75. That's nothing. That's nothing. Man, we can all. split that three ways? No, you can't. Who does that? That split the $75 fee. I'm new to the game. No, we can't split no fee. This is how I eat. Stick the browns the real side.